Hi guys, Oshale here and welcome back to my channel. This is Oshi Reads. Happy New Year! Yes! 2018 is here and I'm so excited for this year. I want to go ahead and share with you guys my January 2018 TBR. This year I'm going to be doing my TBRs a little differently. I have a TBR jar that I will be implementing as of February 2018. So I talked about it a little bit during book mess, but I'm basically going to be writing down on pieces of paper all the books that I really, really, really want to make sure that I get to this year placing them in the jar and then picking one or two each month. I'm also doing my Harry Potter read along this year. So every month up until July, I will be reading the Harry Potter novels, one book for each month, obviously, until we get to the seventh month and the seventh book completing the series. And each month I will be doing an in-depth review and analysis on each book. So definitely join me for those book discussion videos. So I have several things going on this year with reading and what I plan on doing. So stay tuned on this channel if you want to know more and see more definitely make sure that you subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more videos like these join the Osh fam you know you want to do it I mean if you're watching and you've gotten this far and you haven't hit subscribe what are you doing with your life all right moving on to my TBR it's pretty short because my goals for this year are to read less I know my Goodreads goal is set at 80 books so I want to read less and I want to read more intentionally and I want to read other genres. I've been kind of stuck in the new adult slash young adult genre for the last few years and I'm over it. I'm ready to move on. All right, first book in my TBR. And we have Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. This is a nonfiction, so I will be trying to read at least one nonfiction book a month. Let's see how it goes. Lots of goals. We'll see how they work out. But yes, a nonfiction book that takes a look at the split second kind of decisions that we make, the information that we get. Right here it just says, drawing on cutting edge neuroscience and psychology to reveal that the difference between good decision making and bad has less to do with how much information we process than with our ability to focus on a few particular details. So I've read this before way back in 2007 and I want to do it again so I'm excited for this reread. Next book on my TBR is Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. This is another reread. I read it years ago and I am so excited to read it again. I want to delve back into Toni Morrison's work and just read all of her books that she has out. I love her as a writer. I love her magical realism, her lyricism. I just love her. I cannot wait to dive into this one. This one basically follows a teenage black boy and his struggles to kind of make it, all the challenges that he faces, the family dynamics that he's coming from, and kind of how the chips are stacked against him but he's got to try right this one is definitely a read I'm really looking forward to and I am excited to explore more magical realism in the books that I read I mean it was a winner of the Nobel Prize in literature so it's damn good for my third pick I have another reread lots of rereads going on this month and this is Joy in the Morning by Betty Smith and I have loved this book for years ever since I first read it as a 10 year old fifth grader and I cannot wait to read it every year it's been a while since I reread it so I definitely wanted to revisit this story we follow Annie and Carl a young married couple who are just trying to make it in 1920s Midwest Carl is in law school and Annie just never made it past an eighth grade education but she's extremely intelligent very precocious friendly and warm and she just loves Carl with everything in her and she definitely wants to basically better herself as he is studying to be a lawyer she wants to become his equal so it's nice to follow their adventures as this young married couple in this 1920s college town all of the things that they go through their fights and their happiness their downs their highs and how they stay together so I love this read Finally, for my fourth pick, we have a novel that I have never read before, and this is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Half of a Yellow Sun. With effortless grace, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie illuminates a seminal moment in African history, Biafra's struggle to establish an independent republic in southeastern Nigeria during the late 1960s. So, as many Nigerians know, the Biafran War was a huge deal and definitely affected a lot of our older family members, especially if you lived in the southeastern part of the country that war was just brutal and there are still so many effects felt from it to this day in Nigeria. I don't know much about it as I did not spend most of my formative years in Nigeria. My family moved here to the United States in 1994 so there's a lot about Nigerian history that I just don't know because I didn't get a chance to learn it. I didn't go that far in school in Nigeria so I definitely want to delve more into my country's history and this fictional novel is going to definitely give me a deeper look into what was going on during that time in Nigerian history. 
And last but not least, yes, I have a young adult novel, my only young adult novel pick in this bunch, and I am so happy for it. And this is Kristen Kishore's Jane Unlimited. Now, I hauled this way back in the summer, and I haven't had a chance to read it yet. <laughs> Just dropping things here, y'all. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. This is basically about a girl named Jane who basically goes on this adventure. Her aunt who raised her dies and leaves her very directionless, but her aunt kept talking to her about this place and it was very mysterious. Um, let's see. It says, then an old acquaintance, the glamorous and capricious Kieran Trash blows back into Jane's life and invites her to the gala at the Thrash's extravagant island mansion called Two Riviennes. Jane remembers her aunt telling her, if anyone ever invites you to Two Riviennes, promise me that you will go. So it seems like it's going to be an adventurous story. I love everything by Kristen Kishore, so I have no doubts that I'm going to love this one as well. So that is my January TBR. I'm sure I'm going to read more books than that, maybe, perhaps. I do plan on doing a lot of writing in January both on my novel and also on my blog. I'm going to be writing two novels. I'm going to be revising my NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo 2017 novel and I'm going to be starting a new novel so that's going on. I also have a lot of short stories that I would like to get up on my blog so it is going to be a very busy month in January so I'm not quite sure how much more reading I will get after those five but we shall see i have a large haul coming my christmas book haul and i cannot wait to share that with you guys so definitely stay tuned for that video i will catch you guys in my next video i love you all and i hope you have a wonderful january i'll see you in my next video bye guys habits honestly this is my dad's book collection he wants to build a library down here but for right now it's just Shelf after shelf after row after row of books. When we first moved into this house, this is my childhood home. Uh, this was his, I guess his 